Let's get back to Rachel uh, Hopmeyer in Detroit for an extensive history lesson. Guys, most people think that Detroit's relationship with Thanksgiving Day football started in 1934, back when the team owner, George A. Richards, brokered a radio deal to market football to a wider audience. But in reality, the story started 50 years and two days prior, and I caught up with two true history buffs at Michigan's Bentley Historical Library to break that down. The Lions are playing in their 85th Thanksgiving Day game since 1934. But in the Midwest, the tradition of playing football on this holiday goes back much further than that. Well, the very first Thanksgiving Day game we've come up was actually played in Detroit. But the Chicago uh, game started before the University of Chicago was founded. What they called the Chicago University Clubs. And basically it was uh, former alums from uh, Harvard, Yale that were in Chicago had organized a team. The first one in Chicago was 1887. Uh, the Michigan varsity team had gone to Chicago, and an interesting is on the way, they stopped in South Bend and taught Notre Dame how to play football. <laughs> it was much more of a really rugby-style game in those early years. Just a lot of mass plays at the line of scrimmage. Um, there was no passing, per se, and it tended to be a fairly rough and violent game. The University of Chicago was founded in 1892 and thus began a historic rivalry down Interstate 94. Prior to Ohio State becoming the main rival, it's the University of Chicago. And part of that is a personal animosity between Fielding Yost and Amos Alonzo Stagg. Uh, and so you can see this headline when Chicago finally breaks the, the big Michigan winning streak. Uh, Yost's reign of terror is over and Stagg is king again. But you can see by 1905, you know, they've developed this very, very intense rivalry. In 1907, Michigan was voted out of the Western Conference, but they took something from this era and never let it go. The 1898 game in Chicago it was again deciding the championship of the West. Uh, Michigan won. There was a big celebration in Chicago. Lots of Michigan fans there, and they were parading through the streets. And uh, Louis Elbel was a student uh, musician who was also a track athlete. The story is that on the way, a train ride back, he developed the melody for the victors, which became the university's fight song, according to many people, the greatest fight song ever. And John Philip Sousa himself supposedly dubbed it the greatest fight song ever. That very first Wolverines Thanksgiving game back in 1885 happened just a mile and a half up Midtown here. What was the Peninsular Cricket Grounds and then became the original site of the Detroit Athletic Club. Today, there is a historical marker for David Whitney Jr.'s residence on the grounds, but I think there should also be a marker for the beginning of Detroit's love story with Thanksgiving football. What do you guys think, Mark and Ryan? Rachel, great job. The more you know, did you know all of that information? No, but I have to disagree. The greatest fight song is not the victors from Michigan. It's Conquest from USC. Oh, that one right. the, the former Trojan fight on. <laughs> huh? All right, thanks a lot.